so topics that typically page object model for the completeness sake has first we'll begin with what is page object model then we will design our page object model classes and we will see what goes into uh, designing page object model classes then we will learn how to use these page object model classes typically usage will be something that we will give to others who are consumers of our framework but as a developer of the framework we should have a clear cut understanding of how our clients or customer or consumers are going to consume our classes next we'll talk about benefits of POM page object model and all these topics we are going to discuss today then there are assignments which have already been shared and tomorrow this is the agenda for tomorrow so we'll be skipping this because anyways we are going to talk about it in the end so let's begin with the discussion of page object model object model so let's have a discussion first then we will go into the discussion uh, into the details of what is page object model okay so Deepak says page object model is a design pattern okay that's a heavy word fine let's hear from others okay Maria says it is set of guidelines fair that's a valid point this is a set of guidelines okay any other answers okay there is an answer from Betsy also she has the same answer as Maria okay fair so so let's start discussion what is page object model so it is a best practice or it is a guideline it is an advice so let's begin with advice word so page object model is just an advice how we should be designing our automation framework classes so if we take a real world example let's say we are constructing a, a house which is a duplex house so ground floor is connected to the first floor through stairs now we may be tempted to say we want to make minimum stairs so that we can move faster from ground floor to first floor so I may design stairs like this these are the steps of the stairs now if some person is standing on the ground floor here imagine if he has to take the first step it is very hard because we have we tried to make the minimum steps to go up but this person is not even able to take the first step so this model if we design the staircase like this this is not correct because it is not usable it is going to create more problems in the future so we go to some experienced person and say that we designed some staircase but that is completely inusable, unusable can you please give me some advice how or what factor should have I taken into account before designing this staircase now that wise person says your staircase should have maximum height of let's say some hypothetical number let's say uh, some X number he gives he says X meter high and Y meter wide this is what a staircase should be and then whatever number is it comes out to that is how you can design the staircase so this piece of advice that we get from that person we will say this is a guideline this is an advice or if we talk in terms of I think Bhargav gave that answer this is a design pattern so now we understand what is a design pattern design pattern is nothing but it is a piece of advice that is coming through experience from someone which says how you should design your classes so since this advice is related to designing here we call this is a design pattern and reason we call it is a pattern is because a lot of times in many software people observed the same problem arises again and again so they give one piece of advice and say when you see this kind of pattern in this example if we see our pattern was we are designing staircase of a house now if you are designing staircase case for a company or if you are designing staircase for a stadium where people have to go up to uh, to take their seats so everywhere staircase comes we say okay this pattern can be followed so this becomes a design pattern make sense yeah okay yeah thanks for <laughs> yeah now we are coming to your point ultimately yeah, initially I, I, I wanted to avoid using the term pattern because that scares a lot of people like when I hear what is oh, this is a big design pattern we are hearing about design pattern is not not a really complex topic or a big topic it's just that we should understand that piece of advice and understand the reason behind that advice then it becomes more clear so yeah now we can go ahead with the definition you were saying and that was correct a design pattern that recommends to write different classes for every single page in a web application 